Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's wig, I got this piano highlight brown wig from Sunbur Hair. I'll actually put the real name in the description down below and also the link. Um, so, so cute. And I did a different method this time. Um, I wanted to do something that was a bit easier and quicker. Um, and I pretty much did like a got to be install. The bolt hole did make a little... Um, like we did use the bolt holes a little bit, but for the most part, this was a got to be install and it still looks just as bomb. Um, the hair feels really, really nice. Um, it's pretty similar to a wig that I did recently, like the ginger wig, but this one has the highlights in it and it's actually really, really nice. Perfect for the fall season. Um, this is a 13 by four transparent lace um, wig and this I got it in 24 inches. And this is how it looks on me. And I don't really have anything else to say about the hair. Um, so far, so good. It bleached really nicely and everything. Um, I did pluck it off camera and stuff like that. But other than that, if you want to see how I did this install and also the bald cap method with got to be, then keep on watching. So for starters, um, I put my hair into two braids and then I just crisscrossed and like stuffed it in. Um, this is going to be not too detailed um just like when you want to put on a wig and not go all the way just taking some got to be and putting my edges back i don't know why i always have to put it here i guess i'm used to like doing my makeup and i'm just pushing them back gently it's a curly wig so i feel like they like it doesn't have to be too too flat and I'm just going to be a little more gentle around here. I don't know if you guys can see. I have some, like, little scabs. I guess I, like, pressed a little too hard <laughs> last time when I was removing my glue. So be wary of that. And just like that. I forgot to show the hair. Here it is. Really, really cute. It's a bit similar to like the ginger wig that I uh, recently wore, but except it's not ginger. Like I can see like there's pints of ginger in it, but it's more of like a brown, like it has brown in it and a bit of, would I say it has blonde? No, but it's nice. It has like dimension in it. So really really nice love the texture you can already tell it's gonna be bomb and then the lace itself um i already bleached the knots but it's more of that like really thin um transparent lace so i like working with that not a problem at all and the hair is from sunbur hair sunbur sunbur um what else? some a bag <laughs> A little bit of goodies and wig cap. So I'm gonna put the wig cap on first. Okay, all right. I didn't realize how crazy I look. This is my I'm going through it look. But okay. Um, next is alcohol. Of course, I'm gonna clean up the area. Now I'm gonna actually apply. The wig cap a bit differently than I normally do. I'm gonna go back to using Got to Be and see how that goes. Like the spray, I do normally use the gel, but not the spray. Oh, it seems really small. Putting the whole ear holes out. I'm debating if I should use this free spray. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna use this free spray. It's been a while. All right, then we blow dry. So crazy how much easier it is when you're doing it like 
not the proper way. Perfect. Now it's time for foundation on um, or concealer, whatever you prefer. Time to match your bald cap to your skin. And it's always best to use like a darker shade than the lighter one. But this one matches me perfect. This is Toast from the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This works pretty well. Perfect. That was so easy compared to like what I actually do. Way easier. And if I really wanted, I could make the edges flat, but it'll all melt, I think, with with the rest of the process. So let's put the wig on. I'm actually first gonna put that same color uh, foundation on the lace, and then I'll see if I have to tint it later, but not too much, pretty light. So it's time to pop this on. I'm so sorry guys for the noise. There's always construction outside. Let me put this back. It feels really tight and I'm not sure if it's cause it's cause I didn't braid, but it feels really small. And I don't want this too too far back just because I'm trying to protect my edges. This looks pretty good to me. Something like this. I'm just gonna make a mark. Do I even have to make a mark from using got to be? No, I still will. Alrighty. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'll put the got to be underneath and on top, then wrap it, wait a little bit, and then cut the lace. After we cut the lace, um, if I have to do it one more time, we'll do it one more time. I think that process should work. Let's try it out. Clean it up one more time. Okay, let's do this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, maybe I should do this. Head back. I just need my mirror, that's why. I don't think this is working. I'm just gonna keep going. You can clearly tell I'm a bold hold girl. It's gonna wait till it's a little tackier before I put that melting band on. I'm just worried. Okay, I'll wait for this to melt, but I'll also blow dry it to speed up the process. Okay, this is a work in progress, but we're gonna do this together. I just feel like I'm like cheating by doing it this way, but. Okay, not bad at all. I can see the wig cap moved. Nice, <laughs> should be fine. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it. Now I'm gonna cut the lace slowly. Okay. Okay. It actually feels like stuck, which is really weird. I was gonna put some bold hold in the center just where I have more lifting than normal. Only a little bit, but then I'm gonna go back with the got to be. This is actually the method that I used to use when I first got into wigs. Perfect. That's stuck and then like, all the little bits, I'm just gonna go in one more time. Actually, no, I'm not. Now I'm going to go in with the Wig Dealer Melting Spray, actually. Just going to clean it up. 
clean up first. So this is how it's looking. Um, all I really think I need, actually I don't think I need anything else. This is really, really good right now. I'm gonna melt it one more time. I'm gonna put the band on and waiting for my hot comb to heat up so I can, I can do the middle part. I actually know what part I'm gonna do this time. Right. I'm just gonna use a wax stick and a hot comb and just flatten everything up. Now I'm gonna remove the band so I can find the little part. That's the middle. So cute. I'm really, really feeling this. I don't even know if I want baby hairs. Maybe really small ones, but so far I don't think it needs anything. I'll just take out a little bit of baby hairs, but not that crazy. Um, this whole piece is up. That's really funny. So this is how it's looking so far. Now, literally just the baby hairs and we're all done. And then using my K&K little flat iron, gonna curl the little edges. And using got to be one last time. Baby hairs, they're so cute. This is actually a cute hairstyle too. We're pretty much, pretty much done. Adding a bit of foam. This is the olive oil wrap set mousse, the ORS olive oil. This looks so good. This actually looks like I used my regular product, but it looks so good. I love it. And there you guys have it. We are all done. It was a bit rocky at the beginning, but we figured it out. And this method was way, way like simpler than what I normally do. And we still get really, really good results. And yeah, here's the wig. You guys can see like the little highlights. It's so cute. Love the texture, feels really soft. Lace was easy to work with. And yeah, really no complaints. Um, just be weary of the feel of the hair like over time if this is like my last wig that looked like this um over time they just do end up deteriorating quickly the word they just end up getting like a little bit more frizzy and um messed up if you don't put the time and energy into like taking care of these wigs so just be wary of that but other than that so bomb and there it is and this you can definitely put some water and it'll flatten it up but I just wanted to see the actual texture of the hair um, with just some mousse 
and I really really like it. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video then give me a thumbs up, comment below what you'd like to see, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video.